welcome and welcome back to my channel it is 5 34 a.m right now y'all and i'm just on the balcony right now with all the animals out here like bitch i always do this shit i always like try to go to bed and whenever i want to sleep in i can never sleep in and i'm always just awake i'm always just awake because my thoughts are being seen i'm tired i'll be sad so like i just i don't sleep for real so what I'm gonna do right now is I got my shit ready to roll a blunt and then I'm gonna go to the gym maybe. Look at my beautiful kitty. They love being out here for real. <laughs> but I'm gonna get this blunt rolled out here and I'm just kinda gonna chill outside, enjoy the peacefulness, enjoy how quiet it is. Just like pay attention to my surroundings and focus on that instead of like what's in my head that's really good to do like sometimes people have such a loud environment that they don't know how to escape it because they're always in a loud environment so you need to be in a calmer and quieter environment back to what i was saying bitch i'm just gonna roll this blunt so i'm gonna do that and then i'm gonna get back to y'all after i'm done I love you and I hope you drink water and I hope you're having a good morning day. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I pull up road a window down it. I pull up road a window down it. Yeah, yeah. I pull up road a window down it. Yeah, yeah. Y'all, I'm just sitting down right now. I just got done rolling the blunt and Kiki's sitting over here. And then I have my baby over here and my journal over there waiting for me. So I'm just gonna journal. I'm gonna manifest i'm gonna put my thoughts out i'm going to write affirmations i'm gonna write goals and i'm gonna write my morning routine layout kind of like a little short like scripted layout routine just because i think it helps you like stay on task and do everything that you want to do so i am going to start journaling right now and you guys are going to see me smoke and do that so if you want to do that as well, you should do it because I think it makes such a good impact on your morning for real. And your morning is the biggest part of your day and your morning deciphers how your day is going to go. I don't know if that's the right word, but that makes sense to me. Like your morning is your biggest part of the day, so your morning has to be the best part of your day. My cat is pushing the thing around. But since the morning is the most important part of the day it has to be the best part of the day so if your morning shitty most likely the rest of your day is going to be shitty because it's kind of hard to like turn your life around turn time around but it's good if you have a shitty morning to learn to turn it around but yep so uh, i'm gonna journal right now y'all can journal with me and let's do this together skincare ready i'm gonna take off any previous makeup on my face that i've had so i always like can never take off my makeup before i go to bed i always forget so i'm gonna do my skincare i'm gonna drink water and then I'll slowly transition into putting workout clothes on and then going to the gym and i'll record at the gym some of my routine at like this gym is kind of harder because i don't really have a lot of like free weight or i don't have a lot of like i don't know when I went to a real gym, I had like a rack to like lift and like get a juicy booty and I had like the abduction machine to like go like this and get my like outer booty fat and I don't know, I just have not been eating enough and working out enough and doing the same like endurance I guess to like get a big old booty that I want and be thick, thicker and shit i guess have like a fuller body i have not been doing that so i should probably eat this morning but sometimes it's hard to eat in the morning so i'll see if i eat and make something with y'all but other than that bitch i'm gonna go do my skincare okay y'all so i'm in the bathroom right now first thing i'm gonna do is brush my teeth i'm gonna take off my makeup with these wipes because i don't have the fucking sweet shit that i normally so I'm gonna take my 
nigga down with I'm, I'm on that slaughter gang shit Murder gang shit Slaughter gang shit Murder gang shit I'm on that slaughter gang shit Murder gang shit Slaughter gang shit Murder gang shit I'm on that slaughter gang shit Take a nigga bitch I use the bitch Cause I ran off with your shit I'm gonna rip Now I'm gonna brush my teeth I'm gonna go to Get my hair done I think I've been using them, but this one. Look at any nigga trying to see you pull up on the L, push it for your kids. I bought a brand new drop and then I pull me up some drops. Y'all said real street nigga, y'all ain't gonna open. Okay, so I'm gonna wash my lashes and then I'm gonna wash my face. This is the lash shampoo I use. I get this from Amazon. Once I get my store for going, you know, I'll start putting the lash products and everything down there. But I just use this. It's like a lip applicator, but I just use it because it's disposable. And then I use a split. And then I have a fan. And then I have this squeeze water saline solution type mix. So, you know, I can rinse off my eye and everything. But first, I'm gonna just go like this. Film. Doesn't hurt at all. It's way more comfortable. 
comfortable. You can have them on longer too. So I sit with them for like 40 minutes, 30 minutes, just depending. While I have these on my teeth right now, I'm gonna go sit. <laughs> I'm gonna go sit in the living room and I'm gonna journal for, I'm gonna finish up journaling just a little bit more. And then I'm gonna come back here and do my skincare just because my skincare is not gonna take me 30 minutes. So I'm just gonna journal for like five, 10 minutes. And then I'm gonna come back here in here and do my skincare. TT, two turn baby girl, you know me. Still with the dolls that I grew beside. All the niggas brown, we die and they die. Gotta watch the time, cause it's flying right by. I'm outside in an AMG. Right outside, PT. Two turn, baby girl, you know me. Hey, babe, so I just got done journaling, and now I'm gonna go into the bathroom and I'm gonna do my skincare routine. And when I'm smoking, I just listen to frequency music sometimes if I'm already journaling. Just because it feels good and it feels like it's actually like cleansing my body and all that type of stuff. So I'm going to do that for a little bit and then I'm going to go back in there and do my skincare routine. Yeah, I'm wearing this one because it's fucking freezing in here. It's freezing. Okay, y'all. So I'm gonna let the water heat up. I'm gonna let the water heat up real quick, and then I'm gonna put this on my face. Uh, put this on my face with this, and I'm gonna rub this in on my face and everything like that. I'm gonna put my hair up because I'm already being like when this shit drips down my arms. So. Okay, so I just get my face stamped and then I get this wet and then pour this on here like that and then I just go like this. Ugh. And this feels so good, it just exfoliates your face and uh, I love it, I love it, I love it, I love it. And you get these from Walmart, they're like $2, they're like on the end aisles. I don't do this every single day, I just do this often because I don't think it's good to wash your I don't think it's good to wash your face every single day for real. And now I'm gonna rinse this off with warm water. See my this. And this stuff normally keeps my skin pretty well like yeah. Okay, so now I'm gonna use this toner. It's witch hazel and rose water. Not sure what toner does, but I'm gonna use it because when I do use it, it makes my face look so nice. So it's like this, then. And it smells good, it feels good and shit. I love it. Okay. Ta-da, bitch, that's all I do. And then now I'm just gonna put on Vaseline and shit. And then I'm gonna put in my contacts and then I'm gonna change it to my gym clothes. And then I'm gonna be on my way to the fucking gym. And right now, it is 6.50. Right now it's 6.50 a.m. bitch. And I can never sleep in, so this is literally the time that I wake up all the time. All the time, bitch. But I'm gonna go put on my gym clothes and you should as well, bitch, and get up and go to the gym too. I'm just gonna wear this blue outfit because my motherfucking water bottle is blue and when I used to do therapy and shit, like she would always say like Whenever you see blue, it's gonna be brighter and like think brighter when you see blue, think brighter and bigger. So that's why I'm wearing blue today. So I feel like when I feel like when you always go to the gym, you should wear a color that you feel good in. Yeah. So this is what I'm wearing to the gym. I'm just wearing these blue shorts. They're from Sheen. They ripped kind of the other day when I like bent the fuck down. For some reason, I like, pull them up too much. They're kind of like see through in the back, but not too. Um, I think I'll be okay. 
But then I just got this shirt from Walmart and I just fold it and then I just have a gray sports bra on. But I like to work out with the shirt in the beginning and then I like to like take it off, like a warm up basically. Jay's walking the dogs right now, so I'm waiting for him to come back so that I can take the car and go to the motherfucking gym. So right now I'm just gonna put on my socks, shoes. I already have my water bottle and I'm just gonna get ready to go and work out, bitch. Guys, I'm in the car right now. It's like 7, 10, something like that. And I'm praying no one is in there. I'm praying that I got up early enough and that no one is in the fucking gym. But I also feel like since it is so early that people are gonna be in the gym because they're gonna have the same fucking idea as me. Oh, I'm stressed. But I think I'll be fine. I have my headphones over here. I always have my shoes in the car and I have my water bottle. And I have my iPad in my tote bag because if I'm going to record, I'm gonna have to record on my phone. And so I need music, of course. And then I'm gonna bring this tripod in there so I can maybe film and shit, bitch. I'm just putting you know, it on in there so I can record. And my shorts are kind of see through, but I also have sweats and I always bring sweats in my car if I'm at the gas station or anything. Cause y'all know, I feel like, in your gym clothes sometimes when you try to go to the store or something after the gym and you're like in your shit you don't want to be in that so i always have that was weird how you can see my reflection but so i always have some sweats so i brought the blunt so i can smoke some of this so i can listen to music and smoke some of this and kind of calm down and do everything like that but today i'm probably gonna do abs and i'm gonna try to do butt bitch but don't criticize me whatsoever because I actually criticize me, bitch, because I'm gonna need the criticism a little bit just so I can get big booty. But what's crazy is I got myself a fat ass before. I got myself thick, like I did that before, but now it's just hard. It's hard for real. But yeah, yet. I'm a, I always focus on abs for real because, I don't know, I feel like they do change how your body looks and it's a big focus of your body. So I'm gonna do those for sure. I'm gonna shred those out. I'm gonna do cardio if no one's in there. I'm gonna do that and then I'm gonna do butt. But I'm gonna bring the sweats in just in case the people are in there. And if people are in there, I'll record once they leave. Okay? Okay. <laughs> Yo, I'm gonna put my lip gloss and shit on before I go in. Cause it gives me motherfucking confidence. Okay? Woo! See, this is what my lips look like before this beautiful ass gloss. I think I got this at Ulta. And oh, bitch, it smells like fucking caramel. And I love it so much. Isn't it so pretty for real? But I'm gonna spark this blunt. See, the feeling's right here. And there's just like some people around me. But I'm gonna go in there and I'm scared. But I know for right now, I'm gonna put on my sweats just in case anyone's in there. And then if no one's in there, I'm gonna take them off. I'm praying no one's in there. No one's in there. Nobody's in there and I'm gonna work out amazingly. I'm gonna record my video and I'm gonna get my content and I'm gonna be fucking happy. And it's gonna be a good workout. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you just gotta say it until you fucking believe it, bitch. You just gotta say it until you fucking believe it. It's so much nicer when I hold the camera like on the tripod. I think it looks so much better. But sometimes it's hard to work out with someone else, but then it's not. Like, I don't know. I feel like you can have like your own pace, but you can also go harder when you work by yourself. But it's also fun to work with someone because then you can do like competitions or you can do games. Like, I don't know. My best friend and I, we used to work out a lot together and like we would do like. We would come up with these creative ass workouts, bitch, and they would be fucking death. Rounds on top of rounds. Because I feel like when you have a friend, like, you both don't ever want to quit. So you always just keep going. But with yourself, you can be like, oh, nah, bitch. Like, I'm done. I'm ready. I'm ready to go. And that'd be me. I'm always ready to just go. Always. But I still need to change my shoes. I got my slippers on and I just need to spark this blunt, bitch. I always waste as much time as I can possible before I go into the gym. My mom comes today. So I have to work out at this time. So everything falls in line, bitch. Oh. Okay, I'm gonna spark this. I'm gonna spark this. I'm gonna hit this. How do y'all do? How do y'all been for real? Because life, life is fucking crazy. And I feel like it just gets crazier every minute that I fucking sit in it. And I feel like life is so crazy when you watch from the fucking outside. When you watch what everyone else is fucking doing. Mm. 
that's probably just like the best thing well i would say it isn't it isn't like being a spectator of the world is so good and it's so smart because you can just watch and learn but like you also need to be a leader and you need to like have spectators on your own life you know but it's always good to watch and learn watch and learn and see just how other people are living like mm, go out of your mind and like touch base somewhere else sometimes because reality cannot be it I feel like reality isn't reality I feel like reality is just like a sense of what they tell you because reality is different for for everyone for real like not everyone's reality is the same and I feel like that's why they call everyone crazy if their reality is not the same you know what I'm saying does that make sense bitch I was thinking about that I feel like I thought about the world a little bit more in Arizona just because like I can see the city life kind of a little bit more but in Montana it's more like this shit is fucked up and it sucks and all that type of shit but here it's a little bit different this is my favorite thing to do just smoke just smoke sit and do this i haven't like sat here and like enjoyed the moment in so long like in montana i used to just always go to pit republic my windows are dirty because my dogs but i used to always go to pit republic and just smoke and sit there and get high as fuck before my workout i don't do that anymore for real i just kind of smoke it and then go wow well, y'all i'm gonna smoke this i'm gonna listen to some music and then i'm gonna go in there okay bitch and if you're thinking about going to the gym, you should go. I know it might be scary, but you should go. Go with a friend, fuck, who cares? But just go. Y'all, I'm literally so anxious right now that I'm literally getting cramps and I have to turn on the fucking AC, bitch, to calm the fuck down. <laughs> like, my stomach is fucking turning and it is cramping so fucking hard. Y'all, it's so nice what you see when you first come in. Our gym's kind of small, but I normally just use these. I'm going to use the treadmill, and it's nice because you get to see through that, and they clearly just clean the windows. And I normally use this, but I'm going to stretch first, and then I'm going to get motherfucking started. I'm going to get started, bitch, okay? And I'm going to take off my sweats, and I'm just going to stretch first, and I'm going to set up in here. Okay, y'all, so first I'm just gonna stretch and then I'm gonna go into abs and do all that type of shit. Right 
baby girl, you know me. Y'all, I'm telling you, when you do sprints on and off, key, one minute quick sprint, and then I'm gonna get off, and I'm gonna do squats with a dumbbell, and then I'm gonna get back on it, and I'm gonna run again, and I'm gonna do squats with a dumbbell, and then I'm gonna get back on it, and I'm gonna record it in like normal camera time, and then I'm gonna time lapse it, so you can see like both of it, because it can be boring, but I'm gonna show you what I did. First, I'm gonna start with the run, Dumbbell, run, dumbbell, okay, okay. Running. Then I'm gonna squat to the 35. I'm gonna end here on abs. I just got done with cardio, so I'm gonna do abs right now, end it, and then once I'm done with abs, I'm gonna take my ass home, shower, and then I'm done with this video. But if y'all try this workout, let me know, bitch, because I'd be tired as fuck. Tired as fuck, but I'm gonna do abs real quick. Y'all can follow along, stop, do whatever the fuck you want, but keep going, bitch. Cause it do be hard. I'm gonna do my abs. I'm gonna turn this music on. Then I'm gonna start going. I'm not gonna talk through it because I'm gonna be there. But just push through. I am leaving the motherfucking gym because I am tired as fuck. And I think that's a good enough workout for me because I'm a dizzy bitch. Abs, feel me? I can't really show you for real, but they come in here, bitch. They come in. Y'all, I am dead. I am dead as fuck. But I think that workout was bomb as fuck for real. And I just want to say I love y'all so much. So much for real. And thank you so much for watching. If you guys did this workout with me, let me know. If you try it one time, let me know. Let me know if you guys... Are you guys back? Did you guys see him in the back of the video? He was in like around the area in the gym and I saw him when I left and that's funny that he's back. <laughs> Anyways, I was saying. But I love you all so much and if you try this workout, let me know. And if you get results from it, let me know too. If you guys like, I don't know. Just let me know if you get results from it. But I love you guys so much and thank you for watching this video, bitch. And thank you for sitting here and watching to the end of this video and if you did comment three fucking hearts bitch so i know you watched all the way through but i love you and have a blessed fucking day